Welcome, all you lovely viewers, to a brand new series of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Yes, that's right. New map, new mods, new assets, new cup of tea. What more do we need? What delights await us on this map? What form will our new city take? What tea-related city name will you amazing people invent from your amazing brains for our new amazing city? I can't wait to find out. This map named Seahorse Islands Archipelago by Sidao will be linked in the description below along with my new updated mods and asset list which is a lot more trimmed back than it has been in the past. No more jumpy game but has all of our favourite mods included too. Traffic manager, I'm looking at you my friend. With this series, I'm aiming for more detail in the builds and more collaboration with you fine folks in the comment section and the community posts on my channel. Yay, YouTube algorithm. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are kept fully up to date on the growth and expansion of our new and amazing, beautiful city. So what will be the name of this soon to be epic and fantastic creation? Perhaps as you have been enjoying these perfect panoramic shots of the map, you have the start of an idea nestled in your head. Does the name somehow invoke thoughts of our favourite beverage, tea? If so, then head down toward the comment section below, tickle the old like button on this video on the way past if you please, thanks, and leave a comment with your tea-inspired name suggestion. In a few days, I vow to take the top three voted names and put them in a YouTube poll on a community page for the final vote. This is feeling more like the X Factor than City Skylines. And then our city shall thus be named. So, without any further ado, let's begin. And here we are. This is our starting square on our brand new map. Look at this. Look at this place. So much amazing stuff that we can build on. I'm loving the look of these islands over here as well. Looking absolutely fantastic. Oh, just imagining some of the things that we can build on some of these places. I just think it looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Ready-made sort of port area when we get there mm, very nice very nice and imagine this here look with all the high-rise buildings oh mwah, looks amazing right so let's make a start how do we start a city in city skylines well let's just pause the game first of all um let us just draw this teeny tiny piece of road there we go to unlock all the other bits of road that we need so we've got this junction pre-made for us and it's coming down here but then we've got these roads going the wrong way <laughs> on the sides here and um, i do have vanilla roads plus plus installed that's where we're going to be getting all of our new roads from but at the moment they're only sort of one new roads two lane two way no parking yeah quite small sort of roads. so what we're going to do is for the moment we'll stick to the basic road like this and we will draw this out along the coast here for our little starting area There we go. That'll do nicely. Very good, very good. We obviously have to set up some water and electricity. I am going to pop this fish right in the middle there, which is fantastic. And then, oh man, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. It seems like it's the brand new thing that everybody is doing. Water pipes under the roads. Yes, we can all thank City Planner Plays. <laughs> City Building Games. It is just now a thing that we have to do everybody's doing it so the industry i am thinking is going to be this side we've got our railway line that runs through here and we can attach to the highway that is a two-way road which is nice um let's just see to attach to that though we're just going to use a bog standard road so let's just have a look here a second what i'm thinking is that i want the road to run alongside the highway here um, and then we can build off of that. So let's turn these on and see what we can do here. There we go. Something like that. That would be fantastic. We're going to have to run some water pipes up there in a moment. But the reason I'm doing that up there is because I'm going to put over here 
our first. Let's go off of there. Almost to the end. We need to get some power. And I am just going to go for a coal power plant. Uh, let's just pop that up there. There we go. Excellent. And then we're going to run across here some of our power lines. There we go, and we'll hook those up when we need to. Eventually, these power lines won't be needed, I'm sure. They'll just all disappear. So let us start off by filling all of this in and getting some people moving in. There we go. Let's do that. Aha, local power plant is online. Maybe I'll get my TV working again. That sounds like a fantastic idea. So let's hook this up to over here there we go brilliant and the power will go through so here are our first houses being built in our city that as yet does not have a name and look at that view over the bridge that just looks absolutely beautiful so let's see what we get who's going to be the first person coming into our city i love these little designs in here as well just look absolutely Stunning. Oh, completely forgot about sewage, of course. Yes, we need that. Let us use the inland water treatment plant rather than messing up all of our water. Uh, that can literally go right next to this for now until we get the time to, uh, yeah, put everything in its own little areas. So let's hook that up and hook that up. You're going to need some water. So we might as well now carry this across to the other side and hook up with those water pipes. There we go. Please don't complain. It'll be fine. We can put all of these down as well just to save us a bit of moolah while everybody's moving in. You must be happy. You must be happy. Please be happy. Please be happy. Yes, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, some of you are going to be unhappy because I have neglected to add in any uh, other roads <laughs> to build off, which is what I'm going to do right now. So let's just, as we're just starting off, we really want to fill these up as much as we can. There we go. That should do for now. And then what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to change this. I completely didn't put any thought into where to place these at the beginning. And what I would like to do is have my commercial along the front here. So I'm just going to adjust some of these. And then I'm going to put my residential a little bit further back. There we go. And then what I don't want to do is destroy any of these trees along the front here. So we're going to leave those as they are so let's fill all of that in there we go everyone's going to complain but that is fine and then we should be let's just go straight across there and get some houses in fantastic still haven't had any people turn up yet we're going to have all these houses I see a train going past up there all these houses and things oh, oh oh i can see some cars coming down the highway is this oh it's not our first car he's coming up here to bring the coal by the look of it, over here to our coal power plant. <laughs> you can see him coming around the mountain, over the top. Thank you very much for delivering our coal deliveries. We really, really need it. If you could drive a bit quicker, thank you. Oh, here we go. This is it. The first person coming in. Who's it going to be in our sports car going to the Dale residence? James Roberts. James, thank you so much for being the first person to come and move in to one of our houses. So you're going to park over there and then you're going to walk. You're going to cycle. Wow, you didn't even want to park outside your own house. <laughs> and it's this one here as well. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Not enough electricity. Well, that's because it's not connected anymore. It was connected a minute ago, but then everybody decided to have their house demolished for commercial, <laughs> which I don't know who did that. Oh, was that me? I'm very sorry. Right, we need to give them some jobs. So let's grab our industrial zone and let's have a little think here. What I'm going to do... So again, when we're starting out a city, it is very much just sort of basic. We want to make the money. There we go. Not spend too much money while we're expanding because we could very quickly run out of money. So that would not be good. Let me sort these roads out. There we go. Forgot I turned off the toggle node snapping. Let's just make sure they've all got enough water. If we run this down the road, I think that is going to reach all the way back. Ah, 
absolutely perfect. And then just put a little bit of industry in there and see what we get. Excellent. So at the minute, to cross from one side to the other, they're all taking this junction here. We've got this road over the top, actually, so it's not too bad. Yeah, so that's okay. And the highway is totally separate, so that is good as well. Let us fill some of that in. Oh, we need more industry. So let's get another block in here. And what is our first target? What are we aiming for? So we're aiming for 280. So then we can unlock all of these cool and good things. Let's see what we're going to get over here. Just some nice generic industry. Looking very sharp, I have to say. Looking very good. And there's a load of cars of people moving in. Oh, they're loving it. They are loving it. Brilliant. Now they've got some jobs. They're very happy to come over here and uh, move into our city. Perfect. So we have some more needs. So let's add some more roads over here. Um, how shall we do that? Let's just pause it a second and have a look. I feel like we could fit in another road there. And that should be okay. So let's get that one going. And we'll fill that one in up to there. I don't want anything on that side. We'll leave that as it is. And in fact, I don't want anything here either. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And then we need some roads over here. I want to sort of follow this road around if I can. So let's maybe destroy some of these houses. Sorry, folks. There we go. That looks good enough. Let's add in some water pipes for these lovely people that are going to be living up here. Excellent. And then I'm thinking maybe have these as houses here. Because nobody's going to want to live right up against this highway here. But these as shops would work quite well. So let us do that. I'm going to leave that one there with some trees. We'll fill in. Let's have a look. Not all of this. I'm going to go from there. And then on this side, we can just get the rest of that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you move in there. What is it with the waterworks? Showering with bottled water is getting a bit expensive. Well, we've got plenty of water. Who hasn't got water? I've no idea. Uh, and we've got plenty of electricity. My budget is down on all of those. So maybe it's a response to that, but we don't need it any higher. Uh, we're doing absolutely fine. Um, we are losing people and we're losing money. We <laughs> Everyone's going... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's this one. These aren't hooked up. Oh, you know what that is, don't you? I'd accidentally turned off my node selector connector thing. And none of these people had any water. <gasps> How are they doing up there? Yeah, I bet this one's not connected either. Look. Whoops. Biffa makes a mistake. Is that going to work now? Yeah, I'm so sorry, people. No wonder we're losing the load of money and no one's moving in. I'd completely messed up that, hadn't I? While they're deciding <laughs> that they're going to all move back in again, <laughs> we're going to make some money this time. Um, I was going to run a path, but we can't even run a path over here yet, can we? So we literally just need to wait for us to hit our target. Hooray. Let's have a celebratory sip of tea. Mm. Little Hamlet. So... Ideally, I don't want to take any loans. Uh, taxes, I'm very happy to partake of those. But now we have all sorts of other needs that the citizens didn't realise they needed like five minutes ago. But now they really do. So let us jump over to taxes. We know that they're happy to be taxed 13%. That is just a given. And as it's the start of the city, that is what we're going to do. They are going to complain about trash very, very soon. Uh, this is quite cheap and easy. I'm going to put it off of a side road. Don't think about the past. Don't worry about the future. This moment has everything you need. Okay, thank you, whoever. What was your name? Uh, Elizabeth Smith. Oh, I don't know. She's talking about taking out the trash. She already... Oh, it was Elizabeth Smith. And we can't even go and see her. Okay, I don't know where she is. Let's pop that there. We'll have that off a side road so it doesn't block up our main sort of drag over here. And then at some point we can change that if we need to. And we have more items down here. So let's have a look. Healthcare, they're going to want those. I think a nice little local medical clinic uh, would be fantastic. So could I squeeze that in there? I was going to keep that because of the trees. But actually, I'm thinking what we're going to do is I'm going to 
move the trees. So let's use the move it mod. Let's just select those, and I'm going to shiftify those, like over there, because I like that little bunch of trees. And we're going to get this, and we're going to pop that right in there. There we go. Was somebody pleased about that? Healthcare for everyone. Citizens flock to get treatment for various ailments. Flu shots. There we go. Get in your shots. That is very apt at the moment. And now they're also going to be complaining about school. We've got this old sort of European elementary style school building. But I think we're going to go with this one. I think that's going to fit in more with what we've got going on here. I'm just looking at this little spot here. Hmm... Yeah, what can we do with this little spot up here where I just put these trees <laughs> that I wanted to keep? I am going to join that road to that road. And that's going to take up all the trees, isn't it? So let's do that and move them over here again. There we go. I'm going to pop that there. Yeah, Mayor supports education. That is what we want. And all these people are going to get educated over here, which is fantastic. We're starting to make a bit of money. What's our next target after this one? 550. So that's good. So we've given them one of everything they need at the moment. Uh, we can do campus areas. Yeah, we're not going to do any of those just now. So let's keep on going until we get to 550. I'm just wondering whether we don't need so many shops along here, do we? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove any that aren't built up yet. And we're going to turn them into residential because it's quite good to have your shops and residential mixed up. And what you don't want is too much. There we go. They're upgrading. Nice. What you don't want is too much commercial putting a strain on your industry and causing all sorts of imbalances uh, in your in your city. So, yeah, that's good. I just wanted to change this here. I'm going to connect that over, let's see if I can get in there. There we go. Just so we can have that fill up with the house and it doesn't look odd. There we go. Excellent. Right, we need to expand. Um, we're going to expand over this side as well. And we're going to need to sort of change the road. Because again, we've got this one-way road coming out. And if you come over here, that road goes off the thing there and doesn't even connect to anything. It's not quite sure why too many people crowded i'm not quite sure why it has that but it does uh, what other road options do we have we have this wide yeah we're getting into the big wide roads i don't think we need those just yet and i want to keep things cheap so i am gonna just upgrade some of that and um, i also want to just jump into traffic manager oh no look at that we've got easy mode on Naughty Biffer. Well, we're going to turn that off. We are going to have no despawning. That is the way that we like to play. And before I use Traffic Manager, we're going to upgrade this. We're going to use that. There we go. So we get two lanes in here. That's fine. I'm just wondering with the Move It mod whether we could just... One, two, one, two, one, two... One, two, just move that back a tiny bit. There we go. Now we can jump into Traffic Manager, Control Shift, left click, Bish. There we go. Uh, um, as it's not the busiest roundabout ever, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that out there. And there shouldn't be any other problems anywhere. No, that's fine. And then this road down here, it's going to sort of end up being a mini collector of sorts. Um, but until we unlock... Mm, a road that's got more lanes that's got no parking these are like very small one use i'm not going to necessarily use those and they're all one ways we may end up putting some sort of tram along here when we get there but for now that's okay what i am going to do is on this option here hold shift let's have a look and it's going to go all the way down to the end there and it should put yeah giveaway signs coming into the road which is just what we want so let's have a look over here now over here i'm just thinking of popping in maybe just sort of a simple grid like structure let's see what we can do we want to just make the most of this space
There we go. That should do for now. We could fit some sort of park in the middle of here, I'm sure. But let's make sure everybody has all the water pipes they need. Here we go. I'm sure that City Planner is going to get like 10% of the profit of every water pipe that's placed under a road. Something like that, I'm sure. I'm sure he's organised that. <laughs> There we go. That's everybody covered over there. Let us save up some money. We have no money at all. And we're about to hit our next target anyway. But yeah, it's going to cost us 10000 for that. And it's going to cost us another 10000 for that. We need 20000 Do you know what I'm going to do? I didn't want to take a loan. I'm going to take a loan. I just want to get these guys moving in. Um... Just thinking actually let's go for this differently designed medical clinic we're going to pop that there and then we're going to pop the school against this gap here and hopefully we'll be able to fit in the high school over here too and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill all of this in let's say shops in that one shops in that one along the back i am going to put some paths in here at some point i'll come back to that i'll come back to that so we're going to pop all of these in there we go. Down the side there, not too sure. We'll see what happens. And then, of course, they're going to want some electricity, which is so close to being hooked up. If I do that... Oh, oh, we've broken me line. No, I'm probably going to break me line again. Is everybody fine? Don't panic. Don't panic. Are you back? You're back. You're back with us. I mean, running out of electricity. Oh, I just spotted that. Just spotted that. So let's up our budget let's just check uh, i want to click up here electricity water they're both pretty low okay so let's let's up these to sort of here nice 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 need some more jobs so we've got this space around here let's add something in snap a worthy village look at that so we're going to get districts policies another loan if we wish some policies to do with the services now they're going to want oh suddenly we realize we have no police or fire we've got some industries self-sufficient buildings which are lovely yeah so we've got lots of nice things let's just pop that there that they're all going to want right people are moving in we got an injection of cash there i think when we unlock the next level which is good um, because they are all going to need some stuff like this. Um, the firehouse, I do like this old-fashioned sort of firehouse here. I want to put it where it's going to get access to everybody. So I think along the front, yeah, along the side, off this side road, we're going to go there. The city receives its first fire engine. Citizens feel safer than ever before. There we go. Fantastic. So they can head out to either side and they can head up over to here as well. We are bound to have a fire at some point. And then also police. So again, we've got... Let's just turn that off up there. We've got this sort of like little countryfied European police one. But I prefer this one here. So can we pop that somewhere which is also going to cover everybody? I might just put that down here as well yeah so hopefully all of these will upgrade have we got footpaths yet no we need to reach 850 we're not far off you know what unique buildings do we have none we've unlocked unique buildings but it doesn't give us any to use oh it does you could build the statue of liberty and some parks if you had 280,000. but these ones over here nope we've got to have oh yes i've reset all the unlocks as well because i've completely and absolutely nuked my entire city skyline installation to try and get rid of the stuttery problem that i used to get so all my assets went all my mods went absolutely everything went and the stuttering problem has gone, as you can see. But it means I have to unlock everything again. Well, I'm quite happy to do that. That is the plan. So let's just have a look up here. What have we got? Just looking at some of our trees. Cannot place any trees at the moment, of course. I could cheat them in. Um, <laughs> I could cheat them in with the Move It mods. But we're not going to do that. So let's keep expanding as we can i've got 1317 so let's speed things up let's expand oh there we go barely a second later we've reached tiny town 
So now we get parks. Landscaping, that is what I want. I want to do some landscaping. Unlock a whole load of other stuff. Lots and lots of policies. And paths and roads. This is what I want. Key walls. Oh my goodness me, there's so many things that get opened. Fences, fantastic. Yep, parks. Excellent. That is what we want. Okay, so we'll come back to some of those in a moment. Let me just pop this one more road in here. Make sure that these have got adequate water supply because I've heard people need water. And I'm going to add that in there and that in there. And I'm also going to do those two there because why the heck not? Okay, so we need more of commercial residential but we're covered so that's okay well first of all then let me grab my path because what i would like to do is to give these all access to each other and across the highway as well so i'm just thinking before anybody moves in up here let's just pop in alongside here a path so we're going to go let's say up to there and then i want to go up and over so is that going to be high enough? Yes, excellent. We're going to go straight up and over like that. There we go. I think we are going to need to move that tree. And this one as well. There we go. Spot on. Excellent. And then down the other side. So at the minute, there's nothing else here apart from this railway line. Eventually, I imagine we're going to build in this section here. But for now, we haven't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight across the top like this. Space already occupied. Is that like a lot higher? Oh, it looks like that is a lot higher than... Darn it. Okay, let's do that. And if we go up another one, put on the road guidelines and get that there. Will that go over the top? It will. Cool beans. So then we can slope that down to there. Yeah, that's fine. And then let's see how if I go straight across like that and then home and I can line that up to that junction there and I'm going to line it up to that junction home come on that junction there yeah there we go so they can get across and hopefully lots of people will start using that the more people that are using that the less traffic there is going to be Let's just shiftify some of these about a bit. There we go. Oh, and this one over here. Let's move that one. You can go the other side. Look, there's plenty of space over there. There we go. So we've got all nice lights on it as well, which is good. And then what I want to do is along the back here, we've got like this highway. We've got trees here, so that's going to sort of buffer the sound to a certain extent but i feel like we need to really run some sort of fence along here so let me just do that There we go, I've just used the zoo fence along there. I think that looks okay. Just adds that protective and hopefully sound barrier sort of thing along there as well. I did draw that down here, didn't I? And it's disappeared. <laughs> okay, I'll continue that in a moment. But yeah, that's looking much, much better. What needs do we have at the moment? Oh, vast need for residential. There we go. And this is all filling in nicely. And we passed 1,000 citizens, which is absolutely fantastic. 1,400 is our next level. When do we get transport? 1,400. Well, isn't that absolutely jolly? Let's continue this small little grid that we've got going over here. Right, let's see what parks we have available to us. There is one that I would like to put here by the school, if I can find it. Here we go. We've got the basketball court and the tennis court. Let's pop the basketball court in over here. 
There we go. That makes everybody happy and start to upgrade as well. Oh, this is looking really nice. This is looking really nice. Uh, just checking out some of these buildings. We've got very similar buildings popping up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to delete that one and just see if we get something else grow in instead. Just so it looks a bit different. Whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up. Electricity problems. Let's take a look. Water's fine. Electricity. Okay, let's just pop that way up there. And just see whether that is okay. Yep, that's fantastic. Everybody's happy. Oh, look at all the fog over here is atrocious. Oh, people are using our walking path. So what I want to do as well is attach these guys to a walking path over the top of this road. So let's grab our walking path here. And let's make it not too complicated. There's a bit of a bit of a sort of a dip down here and also i bet we can probably get rid of our power cables now a bit yeah let's just sort this out oh someone's out of fruit sorry to hear that uh, let's remove that and build that one into there and then this attaches somewhere else <laughs> i'm just trying to think where to run this one let's just run that one down there for now that should do and then we can have our little walking path i want to come over the top of this road so if we go say about there if i go up three is that going to be high enough let's do that no nope. so let's go up another one i think it's the height of the this little slope oh there we go perfect that'll do and then we can slide it all the way down to there. Fantastic. And then let's have a look. Let's slide that one down to over here, if that will fit in. Excellent. Wow, that is a bit hawky-borky. So let's use the Move It mod. We're going to grab that, Control h make it the same size as that. And then, yeah, that should be okay. Now, people can walk across there if they wish. I'm just wondering about having a walking path through the back here for these people to connect to. Let's use a gravel path. It's probably going to mean losing some trees. Let's fill those in again there. There we go. And let's do this. I'm going to move this road down here. Just a spot. And that one there. And I want to get a path up around the top here. So let's see what we can do. And what I'm going to do, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to turn off collision so it actually puts all the trees still in the middle of the path because then I'm going to come back and I'm going to move them. Let's move this one down. I'm going to move them either side of the path so we just don't lose them. I'm probably going to lose this house here. So I'm going to do that and then we'll turn it off again. That's it, and we'll connect it up in a couple of strategic places. So let's maybe come up through the middle here, and then we'll curve that around. And we'll get another connection over here. Let's do it right next to the school. There we go. Excellent. Oh, I thought that had connected, but it hadn't. So let's maybe go like this. Good, good, good. That connects at the end there. And there we go. They can all walk around. That's fine. Let's pop these back in again. <laughs> now that the roads aren't going to move anymore. There we go. That should be okay. Yep, that's looking okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Move It mod and just move some of these trees around. Okay, there we go. So we've got the fencing and the path running down the other side of our city as well, which is giving everybody access to all the different places they need to go to. I don't believe we're able to charge money for all of that yet, but at some point, <laughs> you never know. We may do that. But look, lots of walking, lots of walking around, all down the path at the back here. Absolutely fantastic. Just sort of fenced in this school a little bit as well. Not the most secure fence ever, but 
<laughs> that's what we've got. So, we want to get to 1,500. Why don't we see if we can fill in this spot here. And where have we got to the end of the square? This spot. Um, let's do this one here, as this is more open. Yeah, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, the road grid's getting a bit uh, out of shape here. But what I'm just thinking we might do is... Yeah, I don't mind those two roads running alongside each other. Why not? I feel like some sort of park needs to be over here. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, that's a bit small. I want something that maybe is going to take up a little bit more space in there. Let's see. This one here. Yeah, this is the one that will fit. If you pop a bit of anarchy on... Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. And then use the move it mod just ever so slightly. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Let's pop in the water for these fine folks. Okay, excellent. So that is filling out a bit. Now, we do have a need for some more educated students. Uh, we do have high schools available to us. And there we go. We have Boomtown, which is going to give us some transportation, bus, taxi, post, all sorts of access to roads and things. We will have a look at that in a little bit more detail. Um, but I want to pop in here. There we go. The perfect place for a high school. There we go, fantastic. And what I'm going to do actually is remove these houses from here. And I'm going to just sort of fence this off as if it was a proper high school. There we go. I think that little school area there is looking rather swish. Very nice, very nice. Let's take a look over here how this has filled out. Not too shabby. Still some houses coming in. And then we've just got this space over here on the other side of the highway. But I think we're going to have to buy another square before we start Yeah, doing that bit. Because that's out of city limits. Well, let's see what options we've got. If we buy this one, we're pretty much getting that whole section... But we actually want to think ahead to the future because we do have other industries available to us now. Farming and forestry industry. So if we just come out of that menu there and take a look at our resources. So what do we have? Okay, so we've got lots of farming over here. So I'm actually thinking that this is going to turn into a little farming patch over here. So yeah, let us buy that square.
So there we go. That is the start of our brand new city. Don't forget, I want to know the names that you are going to suggest for this city. Let me know in the comments below. Or if you see another one that you like, give it a vote up. Please leave a thumbs up on this video as well. That will be really, really helpful. And I will see you next time for the next City Skyline video. Take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.